Hello everyone, this is Sergeant274 and welcome back to, uh, I guess, a beginner's guide, even though I'm playing like a beginner here, uh, in Crown of the Sunken King, the deal, the first DLC for Dark Souls 2. You can see here, you can jump down there, that's where we have to go. Uh, there really is no other place to go right here. Um, I guess you could jump down there if you wanted to, but there's not really much point. So at this time, we're just going to take the leap right there this is where we were earlier by the way that's where that one guy uh, almost got us uh, you can go down here but we have to I think we have to lower that in order to get that so uh, let's try it so in order to lower this one I don't think it's that one. I think it's this one. Let's check. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? <laughs> uh, God. No, don't do that. Foolish, foolish lady. Alright, let's just put it back up for now. We'll figure that out later. I, I know I've gotten it before. Um, I guess you could jump that as it's coming up, huh? Do we dare jump it? Let's see if you can jump it. Oh my gosh, stop! A two-handed. You never one-hand a bow, woman. Oh gosh, <laughs> she flies. She decided to fly instead of like actually do what I wanted her to there. That was really cool. Psst, stupid. I honestly, I've got that before. I don't know exactly if there's an easier way later. I think there is. That just seems silly to me to have a... Uh... Whatever. If we don't get it now... Um... We, we're, I'm not going to even try for that now. We'll get it later. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll get that later. Alright, anyways. The quickest way down here. Jump down there. And then be careful here. Because there's a guy coming for you. Jump down. And then just boogie on down this direction. Alright? Be careful. You can fall and die there. Yeah, there has to be a way of getting that. See, there's two there. So, yeah, whatever. Worry about that later. This guy decided he wanted to come down here, so we're going to oblige and crush him. Oof, I almost did the cardinal sin there and fell in. There's nothing in here. Uh, this will open up later on. You can get yourself ton, 10 rusted coins if you want. Alright, coming down to this bridge, wait here. Your first time through, wait here. Because Mr. Sin here, Dragon, um, comes in, basically buries everything, and toxic flames. Yes, toxic flames. You'll get used to those later. There is Focus Souls. I believe it's a sorcery if you want it. And then you have two dead guys here. Thank you, Sin. Alright, now we're getting into the heart of this level. All these doors open up for you, as if they've been waiting on you. And you are in the Dragon Sanctum. You cannot open this door yet. It is locked. We can open it shortly. Alright, down here. You can open this. Just be prepared, because... <laughs> oh, you can get a soul of a great hair on Dragon Charm. Alright. Do not go down there. I stress, do not go down there first. We'll go down there later if we die and need to speed run through this area. But do not go down there first. The reason is because you have to turn that wheel and wait on it to turn. And there's a bunch of enemies and a sorceress down there who will wreck you. Alright, what you want to do here. See those shadows? When I first played through this game, I had no clue... That those apparitions or shadows or spirits um, 
could change. They're tough. They're tough, basically. But in order to make them a lot easier, to kind of reincarnate them, see those graves there? See what happens when you shoot the graves? They turn into real men and become a whole heck of a lot easier. Same with this one here. There's going to be a bunch more later. But do that. That's the first thing you want to do. If you want to be safe and fight this guy, like up here or something, just get his attention. He'll come up here. I don't think you can watch out for these attacks. We should be able to one-shot these guys. Yeah, we one-shot them with a backstab. But they have, uh, they have dual katanas. If you play Demon Souls, kind of like those uh, those guys there. Not, not totally, but kind of. Again, very easy to walk around and backstab. Alright, now before you go anywhere out there, you have, I think, five. One, two, three, four. Five or six chests here to loot. So you get a free Titanite slab. Um, none of these are mimics, by the way. I don't know about New Game Plus, but I know in New Game none of these are mimics. Another soul vessel. Katrina Helm. Katarina Helm. On your bro stuff there. Sigmire, I believe, right? And some great arrows. Alright, now this is where you want to be careful coming over in this area. Alright, there's a little button on the ground. That's a trap, okay? You don't want to step on that and be right in front of it. What you do want to do is come over here and crush that guy. Now watch out, they're poison too. They have like poison on them. Actually, it's the mace they have, I believe. Um, has poison. So if you're around, if you're too close to them, you your poison will build up. Alright, you can see that guy? He's just laying there in wait. Here's the switch. See, that there is a switch um, for the trap. Whoa. Alright, that didn't kill him. So, there we go. They're both dead. This weapon is just awesome. You can come down here. Don't stand there. Because that one sorceress chick will get you. You can see there that's poisoned. <laughs> And all that trouble gets you a bonfire aesthetic. Okay. Your goal here, that chick is a pain in the butt. She's not hard to deal with, so, but she's annoying. She has black magic, or hex magic. See there she has, I don't know if that's affinity or what that's called. Is she immune to poison? She might be immune to poison. Alright, so disregard poisoning her. Just gonna pop another one here. We have Havel, so we're not really worried about her. Oh gosh, that's right. You gotta get away from her. Um, got to get away from her. Because once you kill her, when she like shrivels or melts, like the Wicked Witch there, uh, she poisons you. If you're too close. Alright. You see there's a guy with a bow up there. In order to get through here you need to step on that switch. And we need this large part down. Now once you do it. It will stay in that position if you die. So you won't have to redo this. Uh, but the first time I would take the long way. So you can position this without having to fight all those people at once here. And uh, from now on we can just run through. Because we've pretty much done everything there is to do in this area. Alright. To the left is nothing. Except the place we'll jump down from later. So come down here. Now you can see to the left here is a, uh, I guess, repair powder. That's nice. And we'll open this up very soon as well. But we're going to do a couple things first. Before you fall in that pit... Excuse me, which we you will inevitably have to do. I would run and jump over it because we're going to get a couple things here before we do that. All right, first things first. In order, the first step, 
is look in there, shoot that, and then come down a little ways here, look up, and we're always on the lookout for these switches, so shoot that switch. That will open up just a little kind of treasure area. Now, to the left here is one of these guys. Oh gosh, I meant to do the jumping attack, but you can see there I failed. Uh, there's a trap here. So lure these guys up, step on the thing. Oh, we weren't quick enough. You can see it's a spike trap though. So yeah, you don't want to step on that trap and start walking down here because you will die. Let's see if we can get this guy. Alright, so he's after us now. Step on the spikes. And there he goes. That's what will happen to you if you're not careful. Alright, human effigy and... Down here are three treasures. Boltstone, Bleedstone... Twinkling and Petrified Dragon Bones. And in here, this will be closed if you do not hit the, that one switch that's way up on top of the... Uh, on top of the wall there at the very end. That switch opens this wall and you get the Puzzling Stone Sword, which is a dex weapon. Uh, there it is. A scaling with dex. Very low stat requirements to use. Alright, and that's all that's down here. So once you're done with this, now we can go back and head to the next bonfire. Alright, now there's two ways to go here. That way's kind of to the bonfire. This way here, um, oh man, there's going to be a ton of spiders down here. So we're going to try this, but be very careful because, like I said, there are going to be a ton of these spiders. So, oh my gosh, you just got to take your time with them. Let them hit you if they want to. There you go. The great sword would probably be better for this area because of its uh, attack animation. But, um, your move set. But you can do it with this weapon. There you go. And we didn't lose too much weapon durability. Anyway, come down here. Plunder, pillage, all this stuff. You don't need to come down here. There's really nothing important down here critical to the a story or the DLC, but there's some some treasures. I think there's another guy that's going to be up top here, so just be wary of that. What is this? This is Flynn's Ring. All right, what Flynn's Ring is? It increases your attack power depending on uh, your equipment burden. So, or lowering your equipment load. Mine is going to do like nothing for me because I have tons of, vi or, uh, yeah, what is it? Vitality? Vitality. I think, uh, I think the max you can do is like 10 vitality with the third dragon ring on or something. I read it. I don't know. If you want more about Flynn's ring, basically it's for, uh, I guess it would probably be better for, you know, like dagger builds and stuff like that. Something where you don't have a lot of armor, you don't have a lot of equipment load. Alright, anyways, remember I said we are going to come out somewhere later? Um, well, that's where we came out, remember? <laughs> that's where we pillaged it and I said we'll come out. I guess we came out on top. Right there. All right, now it's time to go the other way. So drop down again. This time we're going to the left. Now this is a little more tricky in here because we're going to have a few switches we need to hit. And uh, the shadow guys are still shadows or spirits. We have to go and find their um, their graves to, you know, knock over. All right, so first thing we want to do here you don't have to do this right now, but there's a switch right there. So knock that open. That's actually a very important switch to hit. 
There's another couple important switches to hit over here, but we can't do it yet because we have to get by these guys. So what we're going to do is run over here. You can see that guy tried to hit me. If you hit the spikes, who cares? But climb up these stairs. Oh gosh. Oh my lord, I got I got raped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the first time that has happened to me. I don't know how that dark whatever stuff uh, really just tore me apart. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you what to do, and when I'm telling you what to do, it's not working for me. That's absolutely horrible. I wish I were Lobos in this. You know, he just, everything he does seems to work for him. Nothing I seem to do works for me. Alright. Let's try this again. Again, you can fight those shadow guys if you want, but... It's a lot easier when they're not in shadow form. Alright, we'll put what little armor we have on just for the poison. And I guess this gives me a good opportunity to show you how to get through here quickly. Be careful where you jump there. I almost killed myself. Alright, remember use the stairs here. That's a pit. And these guys here will charge you, but you can get, well, you can get by them. How did that hit me? Wow. There we go. Yeah, you can get by them. With a little bit of patience, you can get by them pretty easily. Alright. Now we're back to right where we were. We still don't have that key yet. So we're just going to head down here and see, this is how you run through here. Now that that's open, this becomes a lot easier to run through because they will not follow you through there. And we're right back to where we were. Again, fall down here. Um, if we could, if you have range, take that chick out up there. That would probably be a lot better for you. Alright, there we go. Now we made it up. Once you're up here, you're safe. You're good. You just have this chick to worry about. So just tank that crap. I don't think she can be backstabbed. Doesn't matter. She's now dead. Alright, there's a bonfire right over there. How do we get to that bonfire? Well, it's a little tricky. And we can't exactly do it right now, but very soon. There's a switch up here. Hit that. That gets rid of the spikes down there. That will make fighting easier. There's a switch right there. That opens up a shortcut, which you'll see very shortly. All right. Be careful in here. There's Shadow Warrior and a uh, chick there. So run through. Run up here, and uh, you can kind of see where we're at now. You see there's a shortcut to this area? Alright, good. So I'm going to fight Shadow Guy in the corridor here, which isn't smart. I'm going to do it because I want to get by. And you can see I miss completely. How did that not hit him? I know you can fight these guys. I've done it before. Did they change that? There's no way. I have... I Look at my... What the frick? We're dead. We're dead. I can't get by. Wow. Well, guys, it was fun. How? Where did that guy come from? He was still there? Okay, guys, um, I don't know why I can't kill those shadow guys or those spirits. If you look at my uh, first playthrough of this, 
Um, it's, it's on YouTube. <laughs> I killed those guys without uh, killing their corpse thing. So, I don't know what the deal is there. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Hmm. That's really strange. I, I killed them. Well, we need new strats now, guys. So, the new strats are going to be... Forget those guys, since since we obviously can't kill them. Um, Alright, get our stamina up. Yeah, stamina up. Here we go, we're just running through these guys. And what you want to do is come over here. Alright, here we go. We're going to run for it, alright? We want to go in here. This is where you want to be. And there are going to be tons of graves down here. And tons of these guys. You need to kill those. That guy fell off, so that's awesome. Alright, so just find one, run towards it, kill it, and then keep moving. Because they will be chasing you. There's one there that I missed. If you miss it, who cares? But once you destroy all these, you'll be fine. Oh gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. This is bad because there's like one in each area now. Oh, okay. I don't know how that even hit me considering my shield was up. But, crap happened. So, when in doubt, come back here. Regroup. That guy shouldn't be there, so don't worry about it. There you go. A jumping attack and a regular attack will kill them. Alright, let's get one out at a time here. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know they had dark magic. Oh, they have a crossbow, a repeating crossbow that has dark magic. Alright, now we can get rid of this guy. And somehow get hit by him. Okay, they're dead. Now we can destroy the rest of these. Make sure you pick this up, Eternal Sanctum Key. That's nice to have. And like I said, just go back and destroy anything that you may have missed along the way. You get a little helmet there if you really want to one. Um, oh, there's one more over here. They glow red. It's pretty obvious. Alright, once all these are destroyed by whatever method you see fit, you can go back here and now own all of them. And we can get to the... Uh, what do you call it? The, uh... How did that... Wow. We can get to the bonfire now. Again, watch out. She will poison you. I don't see that other guy anywhere. That's a trap. Lloyd's. I guess you could use Lloyd's talisman if you wanted to there. You don't need to jump that, really. <laughs> you just fall down there anyways. But in this chest, you get the blood bite ring. Uh, Alright, we can't go down there, but what we can do is lure this guy out. And he's had better days. Pick up your torch. This chick here pisses me off every time. Remember this guy. Don't forget him, though. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Remember, play it safe. Use the pillars to your advantage. Who cares if you trade blows as long as one of them dies, right? Now you can pillage this stuff, an effigy. Remember that chick is still up there going to be shooting crap at you. So you could go up there first if you wanted to. Because you'll get a smack of... Some stupid crap in your face. 
We have to get that chest. That chest is paramount to moving on. You need that. This. Oh, they are so annoying. Like I said, that chest here is paramount to moving on, so go get it. Dragonstone. Alright. Now we're gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna hit the bonfire here. I shouldn't have even done that. We don't need it. Be careful here. I would turn around here and just kill this guy. Wow. Okay, he's dead. And you can see here, there's another switch. Hit that switch with an arrow. My first time coming through here, I did not even know about that. I missed that switch completely. But, what that does is it opens up a pathway here. That I mentioned earlier. See right there, you can jump. Opens that wall up. And there's a bonfire, and you can go pillage this thing. Which is the Sanctum Crossbow. Alright. Well... We have a couple things to do next time, including Marvelous Jester, who uh, I don't know if we'll fight. We may run by him. He is a really tough NPC. Uh, the toughest one I probably ever fought. He's just relentless with Pyro, so we'll see how we do with him next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.